in the air, on land, and at sea. The Nigerian military is under strict orders to end the plundering of the country's oil. When security forces returned to the site they destroyed five weeks earlier, they encountered oil thieves. As troops chased them, the vandals ran towards their boats, hidden in the creeks. One is captured. In terms of crushing these uh, illegal uh, refining sites, we have crushed thousands of them. As you are destroying one site, before you get to the other one, another one is springing up again. This pipeline is one of the most frequently vandalized in the country. It delivers half a million barrels of oil a day to an export terminal. But for the past five months, not a drop was delivered as the operator, Shell, was forced to shut it down. We've had situations where when we go into cooking camps, IRS camps like this, they've set fire to the camps, you know, endangering us and um, our equipment. Most of the stolen crude is ferried to larger vessels at sea by barges like these, which are usually hard to apprehend. Flying over the creeks, the devastation caused by oil bunkering is massive. Hidden under tree canopies, the oil thieves are putting finishing touches to this facility capable of refining tens of thousands of gallons a day. And instead of using firewood, they now steal gas to distill the crude. Military commanders say there are hundreds of these illegal distilleries scattered across the oil producing delta. In addition to bleeding the economy dry, the operations also damage the environment because they are not properly equipped to process crude oil. The plunder of Nigeria's oil has left the country unable to meet its OPEC quota. These activities are going on as I speak to you now. Uh, so much collaboration going on with the communities to make sure that they are also involved in the process of protecting these assets. And the company looks up to the renewed clampdown to return to profitability. But with all thieves continuously changing their tactics, it could be a long while before that will happen. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, in Nigeria's oil-producing delta.